As there is a delay on the line. Good morning to you, sir. How are you feeling this morning, considering what is happening in your country? Good morning, sir. Um, um, it's quite hectic um, this day, especially from yesterday after the Senate passed the amendment to the Constitution to bar the, the Prime Minister from going to the King for advice the solution of Parliament should he lose vote of no confidence in the Parliament. So opposition parties are now trying to finalize uh, their strategy to make sure that the Prime Minister leaves the office. Are you able to tell me uh, about this exit and, and when it's likely to happen to your understanding? Come again. Are you able to tell me when the exit of uh, Prime Minister Tom Tabane uh, is likely to happen, according to your understanding, his exit? No, no, no. We, in fact, we had expected him to leave a long time ago. In fact, before he, even his uh, wife was, was, was charged with uh, murder, then he came back to him, he uh, did not resign, he came back to him, he was taken to the police station. He, he had to go and fight his um, uh, case in the uh, magistrate court. We had expected him to resign a long time ago. I don't even know why he did not resign even yesterday. I don't know why. So we want to see him out of the office, you know, as soon as any time, any time uh, since that time. He should leave the office, even if he can leave now as we speak. That would be fine. So we want to make sure that he doesn't stay in that office any longer. Otherwise, we will have to have our way of pushing him out now that that amendment uh, is passed. We are not giving him even two days, three days, four days. We are saying the old man should leave the office now. That is what we are, we are demanding. Uh, many are suggesting there's going to be a motion of no confidence in Lesotho's parliament. Uh, is the parliament ready for a motion of no confidence? Does it have the uh, constitution to handle that? Yes, yeah, it is ready. Um, you know, we put it on hold because we wanted the Senate to pass uh, this amendment. Now that it is passed, we are going to trigger that motion. But there are quite a number of strategies we can do. Motion of no confidence is just one of them. And I think that will be our fallback position. We want to uh, uh, employ other strategies before we get to that. If this other man that is not living to reach to a uh, world of no confidence, I think probably this one. Mr. Litsosa, just before I say goodbye to you, uh, we do know that uh, the South African mediation uh, was led by Jeff Khadebe. Uh, just before I say goodbye to you, do you believe uh, that mediation achieved uh, a solution in Maseru? Partly, I can say yes. Just partly. Why? Because the behavior of our, our prime minister is this. You sit down with him and discuss uh, issues with him. Uh, at one point, he will totally agree with you. But the moment he goes back to his home and meets the wife, you meet him the next day and remind him what we have talked about, he will tell you he doesn't know anything about that. This is what he did to Jeff Hadel. They agreed, uh, both of them agreed, that he was about to leave uh, the office as soon, as soon as that amendment was passed. But, but remember, when Radebe left uh, the Soto, he was interviewed by one of the newspaper here. He said, I will leave the office at my own volition. I am not controlled by anybody. I said I would leave somewhere here in July. This time of day I'm leaving now is nonsense. That is what he said uh, after Radebe left. So he's like that. Mr. Lutzotza, I'm going to say thank you indeed for speaking to us this morning about the situation uh, in your country. Motle Lentwa Lutzotza is the Deputy President of the Democratic Congress Party uh, in Lesotho.